Welcome everybody to the third annual Larry Sharp Memorial Cup Tournament pre-show. I am Ryan Oliver Flynn with Brian Murphy. And we got our first match underway. Absolutely excited to be here. Look at the size on this ham hock. <laughs> Pound for pound, you know, we talk about some of the strength of the competitors here. Uh, people like Michelle, very strong. People like Bobby Buffet, very strong. I think Tyson McQuaid is in that equation. He's got to be. Just look at those thighs. Yeah. They thundered, you know? <laughs> of course, we got ML Crisis. I was talking to him earlier today. He was describing himself as somebody who, you know, he, he's entering that middle age. He wants to, you know... Still hang with the young guys. Still show that he's a contender. Somebody that can still hang in the wrestling ring. And you can see him squaring up here with Tyson. I see him wrestling in a Hawaiian shirt. Yeah. Hey, sometimes. That's a little, little different, but I, I dig it. I dig it. It's all about feeling young, my guy. See the two circling each other, looking for that opportunity. Going for another lockup. Look how tight that wrist is, that wrist lock. So also, we're talking about the strength of Tyson. Look at how ML is able to, to get him down to a knee. Yeah, but as you can see, he got right back up because the power of those thighs. <laughs> it's the, all in the thighs. It's all in the thighs. Oh, 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 we're getting the shirt off. No more Hawaiian shirt. ML mean in business. Maybe a crisis for Tyson. Oh. Taking the big guy with the headlock takeover. You can see him retching on there. Tyson trying to get up to that vertical base. He gets to it. Oh, just to be taken back down. Again, you got to be impressed by ML. I am impressed. Very impressed. It, it is no small feat to bring a guy like McQuaid down to his, oh, down to his feet. You can see it there. Nice little stand still. McQuaid wants him to do it again. Oh. Goes to the line, misses. Oh. Look at him slamming into the mat. Look at this. Oh! Tyson McQuaid is not a small guy. Got to be 240, 250 pounds. He's able to, to just lift him up like it's nothing. You can see, you know, he, he's not only probably developed a lot of uh, technique experience over wait, his time wait, wrestling, wait. but oh! What a big belly to belly by Tyson McQuaid. The ring buckling, favoring the shoulder now. Maybe the bicep. Looked like it took a little bit out of him too, but still, crisis on the ground. Giving a couple of kicks. Ooh. Calling our guy an idiot. McQuaid. Looking for a oh, big suplex. Oh! One, Cover two, here. Two. Only gets a two. And you can hear some support for Crisis. You know, the, the dominance of McQuaid showing that strength that we've been talking about. You know, perhaps, uh, you know, some of the Monster Factory faithful, they want to see him overcome it. Going for the shoulders in the corner. Those big meaty shoulders in the corner. Sure does not feel good. Absolutely. You got to think of, you know, that belly to belly. Oh, big impact on the midsection. Maybe that is what McQuaid is thinking, but maybe he has to re-strategize here. McQuaid getting a little rock there. Oh! Boom. 
Oh. Big hands from Crisis. Oh. Calling on that energy. Oh! Big McQuaid. close line. He's making easy work. Crisis in crisis. He needs an opening here. He needs to find a way to, to measure out this strength, find a, a weakness. Perhaps, oh, perhaps oh. looking for a power slam. If he hits it, that's that's it for Crisis. And, oh! Oh! Here he is applying that chicken wing. Made famous by Bob Backlund. But he's got the ropes. Oh! He's pulling him out from the ropes. And so it's when you get down to the mat. That's the danger zone. That's the moment, and you see it there. ML Crisis with the victory with the chicken wing. Crisis was saying earlier today he wanted to prove that he can still hang with the young guys here. Tonight, uh, I think he did a pretty good job at doing so. Did in Converse, no less. I yeah. just noticed that. And a Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> oh, we recognize that. Oh, God. Looks like the... One half of the former team known as the Mean Guys. We all know Chris Desmond teamed up with uh, World Renown. Right. A mean guy and a lover boy. Little break dancing here. Love the energy from these two. And that is absolutely the word for Brian Rosario, also for Nick here. Two energetic guys, very young guys. You know, we've seen them uh, with Russell Pro across the East Coast, you know. We have uh, a couple people, Larry Jackson, Jason Morgan, representing the, the Monster Factory here, but we'll have to see if they can get along, you know. They seem to be on different wavelengths. I mean, we got a lover boy and a mean guy in, on the same team. Might be a little thing, little scene for con controversy. Yeah, a little bit of tension there. But as you can see, Rosario, he works fast. You know, look, look, look at energy. That's the word. And for, and for only being 18, 19 years old, he's got a lot of energy for that young boy. Absolutely. Taking Larry to task here. With, with, with an upper wrist lock. Oh! Now with a single leg takedown. Sometimes it's all about, again, those small openings. Those little moments where you just can see the energy of Brian. The speed that he presents. Oh! O'Connor roll. That was great going, form, going too. Going for the Mahi Straw, maybe? Wait. What? Going for a pin here. It's, it's about finding those opportunities, you know? Again, finding those pinfall attempts. Oh! oh. You see the neck breaker. And Morgan, you know, he, he's taking a little bit of issue here with Larry saying this isn't what we planned, you know. You, you're supposed to be winning, right? Oh, what a double team by Rosario and Nick. Wait, oh, that's an invader. Morgan saying, Larry, you are better than this. He sees the potential in Larry Jackson. 
And you see Nick there, you, you see a little bit of the breakdance style that he has. <coughs> you know, he, he really... He really loves to employ it within the way he wrestles. It, it's something that comes naturally to him. Oh, what a DDT. Right on the butt, right on top of Larry's head. Oh! He's a mean guy. I mean, they, they don't call him a mean guy for nothing. Jason Morgan saying, whatever you can do, I can do better, saying that he can get in the ring. Show up Larry Jackson here. Oh. oh. Massive body slam. Pretty impressive. I, I, I got to give him props. He's going to go for a suplex. Oh. And now, you know, the mean guy, the lover boy, they're, they're having a, a bit of a contest here, but you got to think Nick's got to get yeah. to the corner. He's got to get over to Brian. Let's see what Larry's got next. <laughs> oh! The, the slight distraction gave... Take the proper time to tag in Brian. Oh! What a big boot. Oh. Lo the lover boy in peril. Oh. Per perhaps some heartbreak for him tonight. Oh! oh what a stunner. Larry trying to stay alive. And now you see Rosario, Nick, they're in control. Oh, what are they planning? Wait, oh, oh a little collision. Big roll up. And there it is. Again. I mean, by any means necessary, they got the job done. Sometimes that's what it comes down to. Like we talk about, the little opportunities. You got to look for them. Larry saw that. That's the experience that he's bringing to the table. But hey, again, you got to see the veracity that Nick and Brian brought to the table. You know, they, they had, you know, the speed dynamic there. But it's that experience. It, it can make the difference. It can show you those spots. Oh, God. Am I hearing this? Yeah. Oh, you know this guy, right? Yeah, I know him a little too well. Yeah, it was just two weeks ago that myself and Samuel went one on one. And uh, take a guess on who came out victorious in that match. Hey, I got. Uh, oh! Uh, well, you got a t shirt uh, thrown at you for mentioning that. Yeah. I'm going to go to the back and burn this. <laughs> well, he's got no small foe tonight either. He's got a moonshot. A man from the stars, no small foe, a competitor for the middleweight medallion. He's always looking for his next opportunity. And his opportunity is against Sam Well. Hey, we're underway here. Valerie trying to rile up the crowd. They're, they're, they're not loving it. Yeah. But they're loving each other, I guess. Oh! Yeah, he wasn't yeah. ready, apparently. Get him off me! Get him off! 
wanting to enforce the referee's count of five. I don't even know what to, what to say in this moment. I just hope, I, I know I'm supposed to be biased here, but I hope MSG takes care of, of Sam Thompson for me. Hey, sometimes, you know, it's hard to remain impartial. I mean, especially with a guy like Sam I, well. That drop kick does not feel good. Right flush on the face. Speaking from experience? You can say that. What was it like to, to be in the ring? With a guy like him, like Sam, well, you know, he, he says he, he's not really here for the wrestling side of things. He wants the fame, the popularity. He's an influencer. What was it like to be in the ring with that? After, well, after that cross body, I'll tell you in a second. But, like, but it's like you said during that match. I like the wrestling part of it. That's what anybody is here to do. It's not all about the fame and the fortune and the glory. It's all about the passion for this sport. Absolutely. It's a passion that you see MSG has. You know, he he brought up, he wanted to be part of this Memorial Cup that we have tonight. You know, he hopes that doing well in the Battle Royal will have that opportunity. You know, this is another opportunity to be considered for next year. Ooh. Oh! Oh! Right, it was a big hit. I, I, you heard the reverberation, the, the impact. Two, three, four. I, I wouldn't be surprised if he has a concussion after that. Absolutely. Oh, and here he is being choked Wait. on the rope. Man, always with this, these tag teams. You, you guys gotta have. You have to have eyes on the back of your head. It's it's always those factors, you know. It, you can't just worry about the person in the ring. You also got to worry about the person in their corner. Fortunately for me, he, he thought, hey, I don't need her, so I'm going to send her to the back. I didn't have to worry about that. But Max has, has to keep eyes on both of them, seeing where both of them are at. And that kick earlier being returned as a favor to Sam Well. Oh. oh, what a knee to the face. The prima donna prince showing off the muscles. Oh, hey, what? Oh. oh. And Samuel, he, he's got a vicious side to him. When he doesn't get what he wants, he starts doing stuff like that, grounding and pounding. Oh. Wait. Oh! Oh, dedicating this to Val. Oh! The fisherman Two. suplex. Two. You know, for for being about the influencer side of this, he he does have great in-ring ability. You saw the form on that bridge, the way he was on his toes. Crowd getting behind MSG. Oh, what a jawbreaker! MSG gathering himself, picking up momentum. Those clubbing forearms. Moonshot. Moonshot. Oh, Whoa. up to the second rope, comfortable. In the oh, my lord. Man, and, and what a kick out for Sam Well there. For MSG, that, that, that was a, a, a huge blow to the chest. Could have taken down lesser opponents. Exactly. Oh! Looking for a springboard. Oh! Oh! oh he hit the apron hard. Said tumbling. Oh, uh, and now uh, making on. the most of it. Say, saying that there's something uh, wrong with his boot or something, it's it's all a facade. Yeah. Oh, Don't roll through. Springboard. Oh! oh! MSG got him.
think he was going for that prima donna plunge, maybe. Yeah. How about the moon now? Again, attempting the moon shot, but again, caught by Valerie again. That Take it. Be, oh. That might be the kiss of death right there. Oh! Oh! Big kick to the face. And that's it. Once again, Sam cannot get the job done against me and now against MSG right there. Absolutely showing some heartbreak for the two lovers. The prima donna prince and princess going home empty-handed tonight. But that's another win for MSG. Strong genes in the St. Giovanni family. I, you know, I gotta keep it real with you. It, it's hard for me to remain impartial when it comes to world renown right now. Did, did you see what they did with my man Christian? Well, you, dude, did you see what they did? My 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 heart runs so deep for Christian Rocco to see what Brian Morris, Nick Petit, what Chris Desmond did. It's heartbreaking. Like it. It, 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 it sincerely breaks my heart. And of course, Nikki Von Gavin. Oh, you know he was telling me sometimes. You know, people have described him as fighting dirty before, but when you're in the ring with Brian Morris. You know, there are very few that fight dirtier than him. Keep talking, Wiley. I like that. You know. A little, little nod of commentary there. Two, two. To Brian's credit, what? and I have to recognize, he was recently training, altitude training in France with people, you know, on the Tour de France. It's impressive what he can do. He, he wanted this match as a tune-up, he's held me. Oh, but no small feed. Oh, oh. Nikki Von Gavin. Oh, man, if Brian was looking for just a tune up, he maybe bit off a little bit more than he can chew. Definitely. Going around the world. Oh, and a boot right to the side of the head. Yeah, around the world is right with France. Oh! Look at these strikes from Nikki. Like you gotta imagine, like like the knees right to the chest. You gotta make it hard to breathe right now. Yeah. Oh. I I think the Monster Factory faithful are pretty happy with seeing this happen to. Uh, Mr. Morris here. Wait. Oh! No. Just dumps him over the top. Yeah, maybe I jinxed it. Oh! Oh! oh. Wonder Boy getting caught. And, and this what is... What is he looking to do right here? Oh! 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 oh. oh. Man, you know, Nikki, you know, he's, he's new here to the Monster Factory, but like, have you seen many other competitors with as fierce as strike oh. Ow, as this as this competitor? Yeah. Oh. I like Brian's strategy right now. Pick a body part and attack it. Going for the quarter One, Nelson. Two, two. Get there fast, man. 
unhappy with the count, it seems. No honor with this guy, with, with the whole of world renowned, really. Well, they think they're world renowned. They think they're better than everybody else. Yeah. Ooh. Some might agree, some will disagree. Dude, that, a, a kick to the midsection like that, you're going to be feeling that in your kidneys. Might be feeling that for like a week or two at least. Yeah. Brian Moore is saying he doesn't want to break the hold. He, he likes putting people's throats against the ropes. I mean, he's got to do what the ref tells him to do. Yeah. Oh! Picture perfect suplex. Not really a big fan of the crowd here tonight. No, sir. I, I don't think he cares anymore, though. He's here to win on the back of John Alba. Oh! I'm more saying, no, you got to be quicker than that. You got to be faster than I am. What? You see, Morris is continuing to take issue with our official. Now taking issue with the crowd. Ooh. Saying you are not welcome here. Oh! A slap in return. Might have knocked some sense into him. Oh. He's astonished. He's outraged. Oh. You saw the disbelief on Brian's face, but the fury coming from Nikki. Oh. Come on! Oh! Nikki building some momentum. Oh my goodness! The momentum on that clothesline, it, it drove through so much, it brought oh. him down to a knee. And that axe kick. Oh. He's, he's thinking high rent district. Brian stirring. Oh! Whoa. Oh! Brian using oh, oh. our official as a body shield. Getting over to the ropes. Brian looking for it. Oh! I think they can hear that from France. Well, I hope the tune-up was worth it. I mean, he's got two members of World Renown in this in this tournament later tonight. Hey, I know that they say a, a win for any member of World Renown is a win for all of them. You know, perhaps they're walking home with the cup. They already have a victory on the board tonight. Well, we have a, a fantastic card here tonight. A great tournament for the Larry Sharp Memorial Cup. Please join us tonight here on the YouTube channel. We'll be going live soon. I've been Brian Murphy, Ryan Oliver Flynn. Thank you so very much, and we will see you soon.